So this problem looks very similar to problem four in that our man is heterozygous for two genes. He's got two different alleles at each of two genes. The difference is that both of these genes are on the same chromosome and they're close enough that we don't have to worry about crossing over, which is good because we haven't learned about crossing over yet. So here's our chromosomes. We can make them go through meiosis. Here's your other sister. The DNA has replicated. The homologs find each other. They line up at the center of the cell. They're pulled apart. Two daughter products of meiosis one. Um, the sister chromatids are attached by spindle fibers and pulled apart. The cell divides again. We have four products of meiosis. Two B1A2, two B2A1. But that wasn't the right answer. The answer was we need more information. But there's only one way these chromosomes, it wouldn't matter if, I mean, it's true they could line up this way or they could line up this way, but the outcome's going to be the same. We're going to have two B2A1 gametes and two B1A2 gametes. What's the additional information that we need? Well, I misled you in when I drew these chromosomes. I kind of led you to believe that this was really the only way they could be drawn. I didn't raise the possibility that what if instead of having B1 and A2 on one homologue and B2A1 on the other, what if instead B1 and A1 were on the same chromosome and B2 and A2 were on the same chromosome? Nothing in the question lets us distinguish between this possibility and this possibility. And that's the information that we need in order to predict the outcome of this meiosis. It, and the answer would be exactly the same, although when we were considering two different chromosomes and they could line up two different ways, as long as we were looking at many meioses, it didn't matter. They would average out. We'd have 50% each way. But in this case, it doesn't matter how many meioses happen, Unless we know which combination we're dealing with, this combination or this combination, we can't predict the outcome. So here's our last problem. It's the same man, same genotype, but we have more information. This time we know who he inherited which allele from. So try the problem again. <laughs> 